Welcome back to Power Tech TV. It's been a little while. I've been busy podcasting, and my last cameraman, he'd have enough. He'd had enough. Well enough. He's now gone. Thank goodness. Good riddance. We got a new one here, Steve. And you know, my job now is to make him laugh in the background while we're going through this beautiful VF2 GDS. Started out life as they all do, it's a bit of a slug. Dead standard, good thing. 315 kilowatts at the back wheels of raw scintillating power. So the owner came to Gareth and myself and he said, I want this thing to eat, like really let it eat. He wants to eat like Gareth. So we've given it a big feed. We've done all of the cool stuff that you do to an LSA to let it rip. GM Motorsport heads, GM Motorsport LSA Max camshaft supporting valve train mods, upper pulley, lower pulley, full mantle de Filippo exhaust system, lid spacer, all those little bits of sprinkling of icing. We want to make about 460, 470 kilowatts at the wheels out of this bad boy and then send it and send it hard. Reason being, the owner, he likes having a little race with his mate who's got one modified from someone else. So we built this thing, track spec, fast, should be capable of a, of a mid-10 driven nice, and this guy can drive, thankfully. What other mods have I missed, Gareth? Have I missed anything else? The Harrop intake. Oh, Harrop intake, of course. Our good friends at Harrop. Um, this is like a real COVID special, this build. We've done it during the downtime. It's kick-ass, it's killer. Let's get it on the dyno and uh, let's see if it makes 450 plus. It should, like, all day, dog. Should do it, no problem at all. So we'll be back to see you in a minute. I'm gonna do a Roy Jones Jr. See that engine cover? Dad there wanted a trick. I used him to find a big boy like Tyson. I get to move from the rooster. Put my hand behind my back from the chicken goo and bam, just out of the blue. Chicken goo and bam, chicken goo and bam, chicken goo and bam, just out of the blue, let it out. Welcome back, and the results are in. We've tuned what we like to call our PowerTech 600 package, 600 kilowatt package, as we refer to it, the crankshaft, and we got some great results, but not without a tiny bit of difficulty. We made a solid 170 rear wheel kilowatt gain. We've gone from the low 300s to nearly 500 rear wheel kilowatts. Awesome. 300 plus Newton meters of torque. But the standard LSA fuel pump did run dry, so we had to fit, fit a uh, Kenny Bell booster pump system to it, which controls the mixtures now perfectly. So the gains are massive. And LSAs, they kind of do it easy because they're designed to cope with boost and they're designed to, you know, you can feed these bad boys boost all day, dog, as Kimbo would say, and get some incredible results. This car is a real heavy hitter. And in old school terms, you'd be talking about it being an 800 horsepower package and a beautiful daily all in one. So if you've got an LSA and you're thinking of doing something like this, by all means, bring it to us and we'll have a chat about it. Thank you for tuning in to PowerTech TV. Back from the chicken goo and bam.